on every occasion, whether it's planned or it's something you forgot to do, you need to head on down to Big Island Candy because they got something for you. So this February, whether everything is fine or you are in a bind, you head on down to Big Island Candies and buy the special candy for your Valentine. I went there searching for my friend Mika and there I saw Mika with her papa. You could see the love and the closeness between Mika and her papa. <laughs> Hey, my friend here, yeah, Mika. Man, you know Mika, eh? I just love to come to Big Island Candy Zone. You know, it's like Valentine's Day, right? Eh? Valentine's is for heart. Can you draw a heart? Come on, draw a heart. I want to see. Wow! Who you want to say happy Valentine's to out there? Who's that? Papa! Papa! Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, thank you. At that moment, you could not only see, but you could feel the love between Mika and her papa. Happy Valentine's Day, Mommy and Grandma. And Mika came running with a Valentine gift for me. Happy Valentine's Day, Uncle. Ooh, you're so sweet. I was thrilled and asked Mika, what is the perfect Valentine's gift? Candy. Candy, okay. From where? Big Island right. Hey, what's up, Big Island? Brother Carl here with another segment of Hey, What That? I saw on side outside it said emo exercising, and I heard music inside the women's club, so I figured we're gonna check them out and we're gonna see Hey, What That? And everybody get a New Year's resolution. Hey, one good one is for exercise, so we're gonna check them out and we're gonna find out Hey, What That? I'm here with my friend Jolene and hey Jolene, emo, what the? Emo, emo is energy and motion, it's the art of dancing to your own rhythm. Hey, right on, energy and motion, so what kind, what kind of motions is like? Actually because it's locally created, we try to incorporate hula, Tahitian, Bollywood, so there's a variety of different kinds of dancing. The biggest difference with emo is that, is the ohana, everybody cares about each other, is very supportive, and we just have fun, I mean basically that's what it is, we just have fun with that. All ages are welcome, any fitness level is welcome. So you just come in, you can modify the steps so that it's comfortable for you, and we just have fun, and you just dance. You just let the music move you. Everybody has a rhythm, and that's what they do. Hey, so Jolene, if you want to learn more about emo, how can we get in contact with you? Okay, you can, we, we hold classes on Monday and Wednesday, Hilo Women's Club, um, 5.30 to 6.30 p.m., or you can reach me at 640-7148. Or emo, emo dance Hawaii at yahoo.com. What, bro? You gonna cancel or what? I don't know, bro. We're gonna, gonna try, we're gonna try, bro. We're gonna try. <laughs>
that was good fun and tiring, but hey, you know, to come here to enjoy emo, do you have to be a member? No, it's open to everyone, and your first class is always free, and um, drop-in classes are $7, but if you prepay for any of your classes for the month, then it's $5 a class. Right on. Try out your first class free, and if you like it, then keep coming back. <laughs> Oh boy, oh that emo is crazy tough man, oh, hey brother Carl here signing off with another segment of air, good night. I like wrestling because it gives me a outlet to take out all my stress from school and it was just in my family for quite some time. age of how long you've been wrestling doesn't really matter. It's just how much you work, how much work you put into this sport, and you can do great things. We like the challenge to join wrestling because it's a real challenge and I feel like it's the hardest conditioning sport out there. Before this, I used to be a cheerleader, but now I like wrestling because it's more fun. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna be well known for the sport, so I wanna try to be the champion, you know. Thanks to my brother, Izel. Um, he helped me through a lot um, for my first year wrestling. The reason why I joined wrestling is because it's the closest thing I have to jiu-jitsu and I really enjoy it. Aloha ovo kavehi hauswin. Hello, Iki Pula or Navio Kalenio Pu'u. I have all Mako Papa, Umikuma Kahi, or Bobale no Kikumahi. Hey, here we are at the KTA, KTA Kau Kau Stadium right under this overhang. You know, every weekend, or you know, you see a whole bunch of organization here fundraising, a terribly played fundraiser. So um, we have here uh, Tracy Nimi, we have Mrs. Masahara here. So Tracy, tell me all about, you know, you were a key clubber yourself, now you're a Kiwani, so tell me what's happening. Today we are having the Kiwanis fundraiser where we're just selling Terry Beef plates. We have all the different sponsored youth clubs that we have in Hilo. We have Hilo High Key Club, we have Waikil High School Key Club helping out, and we also have the very newly started Circle K, which is the UH Hilo version of Key Club. Oh, fantastic. And uh, Mr. Masahara, like, you know, like, uh, well, what is the money actually used for? Well, as you know, it costs money to do service. And so the Kiwanis Club, um, with all of their sponsored youth club, continue to do service in our community. And we do a lot of things, including the Relay for Life, um, and we, um, the individual clubs do lots of service in their school and community. And we also help um, together. That's the one really good thing about the East Hawaii Kiwanis family. Uh, for example, we did a Christmas fair downtown, and all of the clubs came and helped us to set up and do children's games. We do the Easter egg hunt for parks and recreation. All of this takes a little bit of money. And so the Kiwanis Clubs um, helps the sponsored youth clubs by helping us all do a fundraiser so we can earn money to in turn help those of you in the community. Hey, one last thing, Tracy. You know, like, um, you know, I, I know at KTA we provide all this and do all the meetings. And what do you think about our employees helping you guys out? They're fabulous. Terrific. Terrific. But you know, I, you know, I want to tell you guys one thing. You know, um, you know, it all starts from a service learning like this. You know, I, I think by by volunteering and helping out here, it helps them out when they come into our workplace like KTA. You know, it, it's still it's still there, yeah, caring about people and caring about others. So thank you very much. You know, yeah, I tell you what, key clubbers, Kiwanis, Builders Club. I mean, they all starting to learn, and you guys will make all excellent employees in the future. Great thank you job. very much. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. 
Hey, how's it? And aloha, everybody. It's me, Eddie O, and we're at the new Splashers location across from the Kailua Pier in beautiful Kailua Kona. And this is another edition of Get Game! Hey everybody, this is my good friend Jerry, uh, owner and proprietor here of uh, Splashers Bar and Grill in Kailua Kona. Now, uh, we do a lot of uh, episodes, Jerry, where it's about going out, running, and exercising, swimming, cycling. But uh, another important part of uh, an active and healthy lifestyle, of course, is diet. And you've got some great items on your menu. For our viewers out there, a lot of them worry that you know, they, if they eat out, there won't be something healthy on the menu. But here at Splashers, they can get that, can't they? That's right. You know, that's, we have a hundred over a hundred items on our menu. We have just come out with a brand new dinner item, a dinner menu. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. We've got everything from steaks to seafood. Uh, we've got a lot of healthy dishes. We've got fresh fish, uh, depending on the seas at the time, a lot of uh, ahi, mahi, ono. Um, so we offer a lot of healthy dishes on our menu. And even though, don't let the name fool you, it, it is a bar and grill, but it's, uh, well-rounded with healthy items. All right, sounds good. Jerry, let's start cooking. What are we making? Let's do it. Um, I'm going to introduce you to Zach right here. We're going to be doing a um, chicken pasta salad. Uh, I'm sorry, a chicken yeah, pasta. Yeah, I'm going to turn it over to Zach, and he's going to saute some stuff up for us today. All right. Uh, fresh, fresh well sauce that we make here in house. We make this daily. Daily is a fresh product every day. Product. It's already got all the seasonings, all the flavor in there. Everything's all mixed into it, except for the pesto. So the pesto is put about a tablespoon of pesto on there. Now we make this pesto fresh every day too. In house, we make it ourselves. Add a little Parmesan cheese in there. We're going to toss the pasta and the chicken together, throw it in the bowl, and we're good to go. This is just going to go right in there. Wow, that looks great, Jerry. What do you call this again? Our chicken pesto pasta. Chicken pesto pasta. Got a sample. Mm, that's delicious. Jerry, what are your uh, hours of operation? Our kitchen is open from 7 in the morning till 9 o'clock at night, and the bar stays open till 10. We're open late Friday and Saturday night. The kitchen stays open till 10 on Friday and Saturday night. Perfect. Come on down and Perfect. check out our chicken pesto pasta. And all the other great items here at Splashes. I'll take this, Jerry. Thank you very much. Right, right. <laughs> Jerry, big mahalo. Thanks oh, for having us. you guys. We appreciate it. Hey, mahalo everybody for watching. I'm Eddie O, and a big mahalo to Jerry and his staff over here at Splashers Bar and Grill. Hey guys, tell them what we get. We, we get game! game.